You never know when a mysterious creature is going to show itself, or pop up on the beach, come out of a cave, or make its way through the forest. Surprisingly enough, it happens all the time, and we're even starting to find new species of animals every day. Things we never knew we were sharing the planet with, or knew it even existed. With that said, we took a look at the five most mysterious creatures caught in the United Kingdom. Number 5. Mysterious Ocean Blob a mysterious creature was filmed during deep sea drilling 5,000 feet below sea level near the United Kingdom in April 2012. The videos created much clamor amongst scientists trying to figure out exactly what the creature is. Theories about the species of this animal ranged from a jellyfish to an unknown marine version of the Loch Ness Monster to a whale placenta. Mind you, a new undiscovered species would also be a likely conclusion, especially given that the ocean depths remain one of the least explored and understood places on the planet. In fact, we know more about the moon than our own oceans. Experts like Southern Cross University marine biology lecturer Dr. Daniel Butcher believed that this creature resembled a very unusual shaped deep sea jellyfish. Others thought that the creature was a Stygiomedusa giganti jellyfish, which can grow up to 6 meters in length and has only been spotted 114 times in 110 years. However, the creature created a mystery as it has organs and appendages that have never been seen on a jellyfish before. Another expert, Craig McLean from the National Evolutionary Synthesis Center, explains that the confusing whitish lumps seen in the video are the jellyfish's testicles. Previously, it was suggested that the floating blob could be a whale placenta, but the hexagonal shapes on the skin make that unlikely. The animal's brown stomach caused further confusion, as Deepsteria enigmatica are typically colorless, with one description saying that the passages to the stomach are somewhat irregularly edged, forming a reticulate network. The hexagonal markings on the top of the creature led one commenter on the website Snopes, which tries to debunk or confirm rumors, to suggest that this is simply nothing more than a fishing net. Other strange organs kept viewers scratching their heads, but the mystery has now been solved, and the species is, in fact, a collapsed Deepsteria enigmatica, a rare jellyfish species that resembles a translucent satin sheet or lava lamp. Number 4. Humanoid Creature a strange humanoid creature was captured on camera crossing the highway in 2007. Starting from left to right, this creature makes its way across the highway in Great Britain. This rather bizarre cryptozoological creature at first glance appears to be a humanoid by nature. However, this seems to be something else entirely after further examination and even perhaps something otherworldly. Seen at full speed, this appears to be some sort of animal at first. People have mentioned it being everything from a deer, fox, cat, squirrel, or wolf to even a kangaroo. None of these animals appear to fit what this thing is. This unknown creature appears to have forward-pointing knees as well, making it rather unusual. Looking carefully at a zoomed-in image, this animal, or whatever it might be, has white tips like it has some Converse shoes on. Is this some kind of escaped human hybrid from a remote laboratory somewhere? Another possibility is that this is a feral human of some sort, which could have been raised by animals. Paranormal researchers have even conducted studies about the CCTV footage taken from a mounted surveillance camera. Local authorities don't know what to make of it. They say the footage is genuine. If it is a faked video, it remains one of the best fakes there is. The creature has been dubbed the Wessex Way Monster and has since become a local legend around the area. Still framed photo captures seem to show what appears to be a human head, body, and legs of a humanoid running on all fours. Whatever it is, this thing is fast as it sprints across the highway. The frames in the video also appear to be poor quality, which makes some believe that this is nothing more than a hoax created by someone. As we previously mentioned, if this is a hoax, it's very well done, making it difficult to discredit. A hunter from Norfolk, England mentioned that whatever this is, it moves elegantly like a deer would. They also took note of the hind legs being comparable to that of a human as well. Someone also mentioned why the car that's seen in the video didn't stop for this creature. The reason for this is simple. It's illegal to stop a car alongside the roadway in the United Kingdom unless it's for designated grounds, accidents, or vehicle breakdowns. Number 3. Loch Ness Monster Twin In 2016, a mysterious creature was spotted on camera in the Thames River close to the O2 Center by a passenger on an American Emirates air cable car. 
The man, identified by only his YouTube username PenPlate, captured the image on video and posted it. Once he posted the video on YouTube, it received over 2 million hits, with plenty of comments complaining about the shaky photography and guesses about what the creature might be. PenPlate himself ventures a guess. There have been no definitive identifications published as of yet by experts in the field. Ian Toklov of the London Wildlife Trust told that he was not aware of anything that large and moving in the Thames River. He states they were unable to get a clear enough view to determine anything. One possibility has been suggested that it might be either gray seals or harbor seals, both reputed to be at home in the area. Other sightings of pods of dolphins have shown to be quite similar to the creature in the video. There have been numerous sightings of other marine animals in the Thames over the years. The video was blurry and shaky at best. Taken from a camera phone, the photographer was in the tourist cable car way above the river. At first, it appeared to be two black or dark colored humps in the water. Just as it started to disappear below the surface, for some reason, the man turned the camera briefly away from it. When he turned the camera back to the river, the mysterious creature was no longer visible. The cameraman has been widely criticized for his shaky camera work and his limited personal information to go along with the video, suggesting a possible hoax. Since the man who filmed the sighting hasn't made any claims that it's any type of monster, it's not even certain if it qualifies as a hoax. Jokingly, at first, comparisons were made to the famous Loch Ness Monster, whose photograph surfaced in 1934. Nessie, as the elusive, mysterious creature has been called, gained notoriety in 1934, but has had reported sightings as far back as 565 BC. In those days, a missionary named St. Columba had numerous followers who reported seeing the monster in the Loch Ness. Nessie's most famous photograph, taken by Dr. Robert Kenneth Wilson, was later proven to be a hoax, but that hasn't taken away from the other photos and sightings that have occurred since. Thousands of mysterious sightings have been reported since, some of which have had photographic evidence to go along with them. Although the connection between the Loch Ness Monster and the River Thames is quite uncertain and as of yet unproven, some have said that it doesn't matter, because Nessie's relatives have been spotted in rivers and lochs throughout Scotland and England. Number 2. Canvey Island Monster In 1953 and again in 1954, Canvey Island, England found itself to host two unidentifiable animal carcasses. When the first body washed ashore in November 1953, the citizens that found it had no idea what they were looking at. It appeared to be a marine creature of some sort, but had feet and legs that it could walk on if it had been alive. It was estimated the creature would have been two and a half feet tall if it stood up, and it had thick brownish red skin and a pulpy head with two protruding eyes. The citizens that found the body pulled it out of the shallow water, covered it with seaweed, and ran for the authorities. The authorities called the British government for help and the government sent two competent zoologists. The zoologists examined the body, photographed it, and then gave up trying to identify it. Instead, they had the carcass cremated and left without making a public statement. Around a year later, on August 11, 1954, the Reverend Joseph Overs was walking with his children on the beach just a couple of miles from where the first strange carcass had been found, when he discovered a second strange carcass bobbing in the water. He sent one of his kids to the police, and once again, the island authorities sent for outside experts. This new carcass was more than four feet in length and weighed about 25 pounds, and was in much better shape for an examination than the previous body. This carcass also had two legs and feet, but this time the scientists examining it could see that each foot had five tiny and distinct toes arranged in a U-shape with a concave center arch. It had two protruding eyes, a gaping mouth full of sharp teeth, and a smooth pink skin as tough as the hide of a healthy pig. Strangest of all though, it had both distinct nostrils and gills. The scientists submitted their report to the British government, but no statement identifying the strange creature was ever made. Since then, the debate has raged over the identity of these two creatures. Some claim that they were known but unusual specimens of sea life that were misrepresented by those who examined them. Others claim they were an entirely new and unknown form of animal life. Number 2. Alien Big Cats The UK only has one native species of cat the Scottish Wildcat. But every year, thousands of people across the British Isles report seeing much larger felines on the prowl. For several decades, there have been sightings of phantom cats, cat-like creatures that are reportedly far larger than any domestic or wild cat. Most say the creatures are black and about the size of a domestic dog and sometimes larger. Various explanations have therefore been suggested. 
The animals could be leopards in their black, non-spotted form, sometimes called panthers. They could also be cougars, sometimes known as pumas or mountain lions, as some sightings describe a light or sandy colored creature. But is there any truth to any of this? Phantom cat sightings in the British Isles date back to at least 1825. In that year, William Cobbett, a famous farmer and journalist, reported seeing a large gray cat, which he compared in size to a medium-sized spaniel in the grounds of an abbey in southern England. But it wasn't until the mid-20th century that phantom cats really began to capture the public's imagination. The first came in 1955. A woman was walking her dog in rural Surrey and reported seeing a puma-like creature, which quickly ran away and was next to the mutilated carcass of a calf. Two more sightings followed in 1959, both of them in the neighboring county of Hampshire. One man reported seeing an enormous great cat crossing a country lane, while a cab driver supposedly saw a lion jumping over a hedge into a rural race course. In the 1960s, there followed many other reports of large cat-like creatures in and around Surrey. Despite numerous police investigations, none of these sightings were ever substantiated. Nevertheless, the Surrey Puma soon became an established urban legend. Phantom cats were soon spotted in other parts of the country, too. In the late 1970s and 80s, numerous sightings of a large, black, cat-like creature were reported in Exmoor, an expanse of moorland and woods in southwest England. We now know this creature as another legendary phantom cat, the Beast of Exmoor. Alright, Top Fivers, if you haven't already, make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant for even more interesting list videos that'll blow your mind. Oh, but I'm warning you, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There will be a link in the description to the channel, so make sure to come and visit us. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Oh, and have you visited thefinestpost.com to enjoy the most amazing articles you will ever get to read? If not, click the link in the description. Anyway, see you soon.